Hello, this is Greg Valeria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Today we tell the story of how a startup releases a complex product design into the market through crowdfunding. Check it out. My name is Bob Ruhbabar. I am the CEO and uh, co-founder of Batteroo. Uh, yes, well, uh, we started with some initial seed funding from uh, ourselves and my brother is a co-founder. He, I came and rolled up his sleeve and started working with me. As I said, you know, he's uh, the guy who came up with the idea of, you know, that there's a lot of energy still left in the batteries as people throwing it away. And, uh, you know, he says, is there any way that we can go ahead and harvest some of those energy? So we put our head together and we came up with, uh, you know, designing a chip and designing the, the sleeve in order to be able to extract all the energy out of the battery. We have to make this thing so thin, which, you know, and also at the same time, it's supposed to be durable. Uh, because if, if it's too thick, it doesn't go inside the cylindrical uh, devices. Uh, if it's too tall, it doesn't fit, you know, in your mouse. Or... So miniaturization was, was a great, great challenge. You know, imagine, you know, if you put a hard nipple for this uh, sleeve, uh, and you put four of these things in, in a flashlight, for example, they add to the height. So we have come up with collapsible uh, top part, the nipple part, in order to be able to squeeze it down. So as, as you put four of these things, they can, they can kind of flatten and don't take so much space. Uh, there, there, there were a lot of challenges, especially in the manufacturing, uh, designing the IC, we, you know, we, we have an IC design team which happened to be in here, and partly in, in Thailand, uh, in Taiwan, and uh, our manufacturing happened to be in China. So, you know, a small startup having uh, multiple locations to, to manage, uh, it's, it's always a challenge, you know, it's, it's, it's easy when everybody's together and trying to do everything, you know, in the same time zone and speaking the same language. We, st we started with a big list and, and started from Beijing and Shanghai uh, all the way to Shenzhen and then uh, the, the last two that, you know, one of the things is we tried to make sure that they will be in the same, you know, locality in order to be able to, to manage both partners, you know, contract manufacturing partners at the same time. Kept eliminating and eliminating and finally we became the two partners that we worked with. So we decided that uh, initially at least we can go ahead and work, you know, with our contract manufacturing partners in China, which they have been super great and they work with us very closely. We have multiple partners actually in order to uh, make sure that you have continuity of service. Uh, we, we went with uh, Indiegogo, uh, it's one of the most prominent uh, you know, crowdfunding sites and we work with them, they have been a great partners and uh, initially we had, uh, you know, when we went with a boost, uh, our, our goal was to, to, to make about $30,000 worth of pre-sales and uh, we were able to actually exceed that on the first day hundred thousand dollars and for the for the for the entire month I think we did uh, s s somewhere around half a million dollars worth of sales uh, we were able to reach to over 110 different countries around the globe that means this battery problem is an international problem is not a local problem everybody wants to have a battery that lasts longer and we, we learned that you know that uh, you know there were, there were there were challenges of course you know that uh, every every startup you know we go through the hiccup and uh, challenges from designing a basic uh, wrapper to to the, the plastic that goes around it to the you know to the coating of <laughs> uh, the sleeves and and designing the chip so uh, once we got over that, we, you know, after about a year, we, we shipped all the products to everybody that, you know, that they signed up. Some people moved, the, one of the biggest challenge was that, you know, that we learned that we should have sent an email out saying, hey guys, have you moved? If you haven't moved, if you have moved, please let us know. We didn't know those things and we, we want to make sure that everybody's happy. We want to make sure that, uh, that they get the parts because they, they supported us and so we went really, you know, on the, on the, we tried to stretch ourselves as much as possible to satisfy every single supporter that we had. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you.